All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Rukal Kadash, double honors to the Apostle and Elders, the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the house of David, the late man who preaches his truth and faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So we can get the hell up out of here, man. Uh, peace and blessings to all the sincere uh, listeners who may who, who may hear this. All right. So uh, I'm going to go into uh, this right here. Uh, this uh, this this uh, lesson on us not fearing death, Salakia. You. you know, we're not scared of death. You know, but us as us as men of the Lord, us as followers of Yahweh Shai. You know, we know that's pretty much part of the bargain. You know. And we're not scared of that anyway. We we don't care about death anyway because we don't want to be here anyway. This being here in America, which is the shadow of death, is death. You know, so you know even if we did have to die, which we we know we're not gonna die anyway. You know, ultimately, you know, uh, our life is here. We have a shot, my You know, so if 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 we if we die in the flesh, you know, we're gonna be alive in spirit, Lord willing, with our Lord. You have a shot, my and the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and our brothers, the Holy Angels, you know, and all the other fellow laborers who uh, died in the faith, you know. So I'm going to start here in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. It says, but I, would have, so like, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, which, which those which are asleep, you know, those who have died in the faith, you know. So it's been, it's been brothers who have actually died in the faith. You know, but um, this is a possible Paul saying, I would, I would have you not uh, be ignorant concerning them which are asleep, you know, that they sorrow not. Yeah, so we're not supposed to sorrow for them, you know. Why could it, it, we not sorrowing, sorrowing that they did? It must mean it's a good thing, you know. It says, even as others which have no hope, even as as others which have no hope, what, what, what's, what's hope? The only hope is Yahabashim al Shah, so. You should be sought those who died, you know, those who uh, died and didn't have Yahabashi Yahabashi Miao Shah, you know, their 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 uh brethren or their condol uh their their uh close acquaintances, so to speak, they don't understand it, you know, so they don't have nothing to hope for. They don't understand that, you know, okay, uh um they, they don't understand that. You know what's what's to come and why they die. You know they 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 sorry, but we understand what's to come and you know why our brothers concerned the faith died. You know because that was written. You know and ultimately you know they went to go be at peace. You know it says for if we believe that Yahushua died and rose again, even so them also with sleep in Yahushua. Will Yahweh bring with them, you know? So, hey, when our Lord Yahweh shall make his second coming, okay, those who died in Yahweh Shai, in the, which which means they died in the faith, died in the truth, they're gonna be on the chariots too. When when our Lord Yahweh Shai makes his second coming, he's gonna bring them as well, you know. So, if we die, if we if we die in the faith, if we die for Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. We gonna be on the chariots. That's that's a one way ticket for to the chariot. Lord willing, you know, if, if we die for you, how about Shemuel Shine and during to the end? It says, so that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful, man. That's really like, hey, man, sign me up for that. You know, sign me up for that. You know, that's that's a one way ticket to a chariot. It says, verse fifteen. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain. Until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. So ultimately, if you uh, are alive and still here, uh, when the chariots come, you know, and, and, and get beamed up for the testimony of Yahabashim al Shah, being in the faith of Yahabashim al Shah, you know, ultimately, those who die in Yahabashim al Shah, they're going to get, uh, they're they going to still. They're going to be there, too. They're going to already be being there. They're going to be in the chariots waiting on you, you know. Everybody going to get, everybody going to get uh, their peace. It says, 
Verse 16, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead and the Mashiach shall rise first. Woo! So the dead and Yahweh shall rise first, bro. The dead and Yahweh shall really, man, like, like, like I was calling earlier, our life is hidden in Yahweh shall. You know, Hamashiach. So really, man, the only way we have a lifeline is through Yahweh shall on this earth. You know, without Yahweh Shai, you're really dead anyway. This place is complete, complete death, you know? So it says the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first, which ultimately goes into, uh, you know, us, uh, th those who, who die for the testimony of Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, receiving, receiving their glory, you know, and uh, being beamed up. But also it goes into uh, the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, the remnant, you know, those who are going to, uh, you know, live and reign with your house shot my shot for a thousand years. You know, cause they cause they gonna be they gonna be uh they gonna get the first they gonna get the first uh fruits of the kingdom, you know. The others who did not die in Yahweh Shah who were of Israel, they're gonna have to come back and be rised up and ro rose up through the elect, you know. It says then we which are alive and remain should be caught up together with them in the clouds. Yeah, there you go. You know, so those who died in Yahweh Shai, they're going to be called, they're they going to be on the chariots already, you know, and those who are still alive and, um, and, and, and endure in the faith of Yahweh Shai to the end, they're going to be called up with those who, who, who are already on the chariots and died for Yahweh Shai, you know. It says, to meet the the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Yeah, so shall we ever be with the Lord, man. Woo wee! <laughs> so we go forever be with the Lord, bro. So like ultimately, man, it's it's beautiful, man. Cause once you get the hell up out of here, you know you're gonna forever be with the Lord, which that's what we want. You know that's what you should want. What else the hell you want? All right. It says wherefore comfort one another with these words and that's what we do man comfort comfort one another with these words we let each other know like look man even if we die that's that's a beautiful thing death is a beautiful thing man you know why because we get to go be with our lord lord willing we we, we die for his name you know we we, we died uh we we died for uh for your house shot my Okay, let's get this. Uh, this is uh, Sirach 41 and 2. It says, O death, acceptable is thy sentence unto the needy. Yeah, as acceptable is thy sentence to the needy. Or uh, who is the needy? W what do we need? We need Yahabashim Yahshua. We need deliverance. We need rest. All right. It says, and unto him whose strength faileth. Yeah, I tell you about that in Daniel the 7 chapter about how Esau shall wear out the saints. You know? It says, that is now in the last age. Yeah, this is the last age. Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. All right. And it's vexed with all things. Yeah, we're vexed with all things, man. All right. We're vexed with this place, man. We're vexed with having to wake up and still be in this wicked ass society. We're vexed with having to uh, go to work for the damn devil. We're vexed with uh with 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 these bodies that we're in, the ailments that we have, you know, the wicked imagination, the evil eye, you know. Uh, the, 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 the evil world, you know, the curses, you know, uh, these heathen, all right, the, the list goes on, man, everything you name about this place down there is vexing, all right, and being here in this life, you know, it says, and to him that despaireth and have lost patience, and to him that despaireth and have lost patience, all right, which it says in, in, in scripture, speak about it, and your patience possesses your soul, you know, but, you know, scriptures also say give strong drink to him who is about to perish, you know. So ultimately, you know, a lot of our people, they, they've lost patience and they just took in that strong drink of the uh, Babylonian, the Babylonian way, you know, which, you know, we're holding on to our patience. So we don't fall to come to that. You know, like I tell you in Matthew 24 and 22, if, uh, if, if, the, if the Most High didn't uh, shorten the days, you know, no flesh would be saved, you know. Verse 3, it says, Fear not the sentence of death. Remember them that have been before thee and that come after, right? Fear not the sentence 
of death. Remember them that have been before thee, man. All right. Well, so it's been brothers who died in the faith. You know, they died in the faith. What was they gonna? They gonna come back in the clouds. You know, it says, and that come after. For this is the sentence of the Lord over all flesh. So this is the sentence of the Lord over all flesh. But I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get another scripture. You know, um, in a minute. You know. So yeah, that's that's the point on that. But let me get this real quick. <clears throat> Slack you. Slack you. Get this in Revelation 21. This is Revelations chapter 21. Let me start at 7. This uh Revelation 21 and 7. It says, He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his power, and he shall be my son. So he that overcometh shall inherit all things, man. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Overcoming what? Even over overcoming the sentence of death. You know? The fear of death overcome, you know, the sting of death, you know, and what, what comes with it, you know, in that fear, you know. But what? Verse 8. But the fearful, so the fearful, so if you fear death, okay, if you fear death, you're fearful. You want the fearful. And unbelieving, yeah, because if you fear death, you're unbelieving. You don't believe that even if you die in your Habashim al that you you still gonna receive your reward. And the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Yeah, so you're gonna take part in the second death. You're not uh, gonna receive of the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. You're not gonna be one of those dead that shall rise first. If you're fearful, you know, if you're fearful, okay, so let's go here. Um, just jump one chapter down. Go to four. Okay, this uh, Revelation chapter 20, verse four. And I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. Woo! Who, who is that? Who is that? It says, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. They was the ones sitting on the thrones, you know. And for the word of Yahweh, and for the word of Yahweh, okay. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with the Mashiach a thousand years. But the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection, right? So those who are not fearful, you know, even unto death, even to being beheaded, okay, and overcome this world, which, because if you, if you don't overcome this world, that means you're succumbing to the system of the beast, you know, you're worshiping the beast, you know, or you're going to receive that mark, you know, ultimately you, you're going to do it. If, if you receive that mark, you do all of those things, you know, ultimately. If, if you turn on your Habashim al Shad, you're worshiping the beast in his image, you know, because because what's this world? This world is fully conformed to the system of the beast, man, all right, to the ideology of the beast, okay? So if you don't overcome that, you know, you're going you're gonna to get put to death. We just read in the Revelation, the 21st chapter, because you're fearful. You're fearful. To, to believe that it's not a new world to come, you know? So you're going to get put to death, all right, in, in, in the lake of fire, which is the second death, and you're going to have to come back through the first resurrection. But those who endure and overcome that, they're, they're not going to have to go through the second death, okay? Let's, well, let's go here. This is what I wanted to get a little earlier. This is Matthew 16 and 28, one of my favorite scriptures. This is Matthew chapter 16, verse 28. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Yes, yeah, so it be some of us standing here that shall not taste of death, man. All right? <laughs> and ultimately, that's going into the elect. That's going into the elect. Because what, what is the second death? Is the lake of fire, man. You know, which is going to come upon all idolaters. You know, all liars, all fearful, all unbelieving, all whoremongers, all sorcerers, you know, all, all the wicked, man. You know, ultimately, those who fear death, death is going to come upon them, you know. 
But but really, those who don't fear death and are, are, are willing to accept their sins for, for the testimony of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, Rekhah Kadash, okay? They, hey, hey, they're not going to take, they, they, they're not going to taste death. You know, they're not going to taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. And ultimately, that's a little quick transition, man. That's a little boom by the beam. You on a chariot with our Lord Yahweh Shah. You know, let's go here. Proverbs 14. And let me start at 26. This Proverbs 14 and 26. It says, in the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shah is strong confidence, right? So that's what you're supposed to fear. You're supposed to fear Yahweh Shah. You're not supposed to fear death and, 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 and uh, someone putting you to death. You know, like I tell you about in Matthew the 10th chapter, fear not him that can kill body, but here, fear him who could kill soul and body in hell, you know? So ultimately, you know, uh, the fear of the Lord is everything. It's strong confidence, man. That's why we're confident to even, uh, even, even not to death, to believe in Yahweh Hashem Why? Because we fear Yahweh Hashem You know, it says, and his children shall have a place of refuge. And his children shall have a place of refuge. Refuge meaning a uh, security. You know, safety. You know, so you know Yahweh Hashem children. You know, those who fear him, they're gonna be safe. They, 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 they're gonna be straight. Death, death is not gonna get the victory over them. You know. Verse 27, and the, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. So we got the keys to depart from the snares of death, man. How? Through the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah not in fear of death. You know, we got the keys to conquer over death. So why the hell are we going to fear death? All right. We, 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 we fear him who, uh, who controls life and death. Okay. Let's go here. It's a rock. So ultimately, you know, if, if we get put to death, that was all the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And we read in Re Revelation the 20th chapter about how the, the souls of the, of the man who, you know, uh, had the testimony of Yahweh Hashem Mashiach, you know, had, had the testimony of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, who believed in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know, they, they, they were, uh, they lived and reigned with Yahweh Hashem Mashiach for a thousand years, you know. They 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 didn't have they they ultimately sat on thrones, you know. This uh Sirach chapter one verse thirteen it says, "Whoso fear of the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death." Woo! So whoso fear fear of the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last. All right, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. Yeah, we are gonna find favor in the day of our death. Why? Because we fear the Lord. You how about some outside? You know. It's gonna go well with us in the last, man. You know, Lord willing. You know why? Because we fear you how about you shot. We got the keys. Okay. And that's the last precept. You know. Um, this Revelation chapter two. It's like your two and ten. It says, Fear none of those. Let me see if I should, yeah, here we go. This uh Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Right. So we're not supposed to fear none of the things that we should suffer. All right. You know what? What death? You know, being 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 locked up. You know, being tortured. Don't fear none of those things. Why? Because we have the fear of the Lord. You have Hashem Yahushua, and ultimately you have Hashem Yahushua. He giving us the uh the heads up on on what's gonna happen. You know. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Which the so-called white man, he is the devil. All right. <laughs> hey, that's 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 a cut. That's a cut right there for anybody that that, that say that the devil is a mythical uh, creature. Cause what what he wait what, what so what the devil go come from under the ground and throw us in jail or something, man? Come on, be for real, man. It says the devil shall cast some of you into prison that they may be tried. That they may be tried, man. All right, gold is tried in the fire and accepted with men in the furnace of adversity, man. You know, the man who Yahweh Shem Yahushai accepts, you know. And Isaiah 13 tell you about how a man should be made more precious than fine gold, you know. How, how, the, how the hell are you going to be made more precious than fine gold? You got to be tried, all right. It says, and yet you have tribulation 10 days. And yet you have tribulation 10 days, but they don't literally mean 10 days. You know, they can be any type of time period. You know, 
It says, be thou faithful unto death. So you got to be faithful unto death. You got to be faithful unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushan to death. Okay? Unto death. And why not? Which, what, what the hell do you got to be here for? What are you faithful to this place for? All right? What, what are you putting your faith in this world for? Man, this world is completely corrupt, man. This, this world ain't got no hope in it, man. All right? The only hope you have is in Yahweh Hashem Yahushan. You know? It says, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. But it says, so if you endure and be faithful unto death, you're going to get the crown of life. All right. Let's read verse 11. It says, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. So he that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death, man. All right. Point blank period, man. Okay. So if you endure and you're faithful unto death, you're not going to be hurt of the second death, you know? So that's it, man, you know? I pray through the spirit and prophecy. How about some outside? This was edifying for any listeners who may have heard this. And I used to see your brothers out there. And um, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Rukal Kadash, that will honor to the apostle with others a great millstone rule well. And peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man pushing his truth and faith sincerely. Shout out to the lake.